Ever wondered how a spam filter knows what's junk and what's not? Or how a news aggregator categorizes articles into different themes? The secret ingredient is often the multinomial Naive Bayes algorithm. A member of the Naive Bayes family, the multinomial Naive Bayes algorithm is a popular choice for text classification tasks. It's a simple yet powerful algorithm that uses probability and statistics to predict categories. So how does it work? The algorithm operates in three main steps. First, it calculates the prior probability. This is essentially the probability of each category in the training set. For example, if you're classifying emails as spam or not, the prior probability might be the proportion of emails that are spam and those that aren't. Next, it calculates the likelihood. This is the probability of a feature, like a word in an email, given a category. In the spam email example, this could be the probability of seeing the word free in a spam email. Finally, the algorithm calculates the posterior probability, which is the probability of a category given a feature. It does this using Bayes' theorem, which is a fundamental concept in probability theory. The category with the highest posterior probability is the prediction for a given feature. This process is repeated for each feature in the data, and the final prediction is the category with the highest cumulative posterior probability. Now the naive in naive Bayes comes from the assumption that all features are independent. In the real world this is rarely the case, but surprisingly the algorithm still performs well in many scenarios. So to recap, the multinomial naive Bayes algorithm works in three steps. It calculates the prior probability, then the likelihood, and finally the posterior probability using Bayes' theorem. Its prediction is the category with the highest cumulative posterior probability. It's a simple yet powerful algorithm, and its independence assumption, while naive, often doesn't hinder its performance. Remember, the multinomial naive Bayes is especially good at text classification tasks like spam detection and news categorization. So next time you marvel at your spam-free inbox, you know who to thank. And there you have it, a journey through the workings of the multinomial naive Bayes algorithm, a testament to the power of probability and statistics in machine learning. Who knew math could be so exciting, right?